Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Knowles, and welcome back to Blender for Noobs, and welcome back to the tutorial on modeling your own car. Uh, in part five here, we are going to be further uh, defining the shape of the car, the look of the car, and also defining where uh, certain features are, like the, um, the hood and the trunk. So to start out with, I'm just going to do a file save as, and just save it as a new part here. So let's follow along with our tutorial. And I'm going to call it modeling underscore C-O-N-T for continued, and save the Blender file. And by the way, the Blender files I will have available for you to download if you would like to, uh, and I'll link in the description. So we have the basic um, rough end of our car, but at this point now you can start to further refine your model the way you want to. And this part is really up to you if you're following along with my rough crappy design, uh, my initial design, then you can do exactly what I'm doing. But if you are making your own car, um, at this point you'll want to kind of refine, refine it the way you envision it to look. So you might look at something like, um, for example, what I'm going to look at is I want the front to be to curve down a little bit uh, further. Same for the back. So I'm going to be looking at that, and I want the uh, this middle part to uh, go in sort of like if we look at my design here. Uh, I have this bevel, and I have this coming in. So I, I guess rather the bevel, I'm going to be pulling that out instead of pushing in the middle. So. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and go into control up arrow. So I'm going to tab into edit mode and start looking at bringing these points inward a little bit so I can get a better curve of the top, what's going to be the top of the hood. So I'm just going to choose alt and select this entire edge, but I'm going to choose my C tool and my middle mouse button, hold that down and just deselect all this because I don't want to move that stuff right now. So I'm just going to move this in. Probably something like that. Just so, And I'm looking at the very front here of what's being moved in. And then I'm going to move some of these back out a little bit. just so they'll conform conform a little bit better. So I'm going to choose this and I, instead of just moving it right back out so I'm going to create that sharp edge, I'm going to use the GG tool so then that will enable you to move it along uh, the existing geometry. So I'm just going to move it something like that, GG, move it along that edge there. So I end up with something like that. And then I can see right here, this has like this sharp edge angle. And I don't want that, so I'm going to just choose these two and go into three side view. Just pull that down and relax that a little bit. Same thing with this first vertex here. Move that down a little bit. In fact, um, depending on how you want it. I mean this hood can kind of come down a little bit. I mean it's going to come down anyway when you go to um, apply the subsurface a little bit but um, what we're doing mainly in this in this rough end is, is you want to get as close as the, to the shape as you can without using the subsurface and then the subsurface will do the rest of the work for you. something like that and then I can see that this point right here needs to come in quite a bit
Okay, so that's looking okay to me. And I'm going to look at the back and do this kind of the same thing. I want the back to come in quite a bit. So the very back looks, uh, yeah, it might come in a little bit more on the very top of it. So something like that. And who knows, when you design your car, I mean, your design might be so good that you'll have uh, one of the major car companies at your door begging you to buy the copyrights or the uh, rights to the design. Hey, you never know. You can dream. Okay, so I don't know how I did this, but somehow I got my fenders. When I, when I did that geometry, I got them moved in and that's kind of the opposite of what I wanted to do but actually that's kind of interesting but I think I'm gonna stick with my original idea and bevel them out so I'm just going to go into three side view and just see select all these points here same thing for over here And just bring all this out. See if that's too much. Seven, seven top view. And that's pretty much where I decided it was going to be. Maybe in just a little bit. I don't want it to be out too much. Okay, so with that set up like that I need to yeah, go into seven top view would be easier and I'm just going to see deselect these points along the middle and I'm gonna move those back just a little bit just so it'll allow for a curve there and then this point right here or these points are um, too much at an angle for me I want it to ease in there and actually I did not want all of that geometry control Z let's see select this here probably just that one point okay something like that same thing over here this point here I'm going to bring that out a little bit so they're a little bit more relaxed. And maybe even bring this down a little bit. Control Z those. Let's do this GG and I'm just going to bring it in a little bit. Same thing for this one GG. Bring that in a little bit. So it's not so stressed when you're doing this. You want to kind of look at how your how your flow of your of your topology is going. You don't want anything you know too stressed. So you see you have kind of a nice curve going there. Not so much on this one. Just bring that one up back up a little bit. Okay. Oop. Nope. I don't like the way that looks. <laughs> that 
definitely needs to come out. That one's okay. All right, and not quite getting the inward curve that I'm looking for there, so might bring some of these middle vertices inward. Let's see. I think that's the area that I want. Is that too much? No, not bad. I'm going to bring these in as well a little bit. Not quite as much so you can get start getting a curve back to your original shape there. So I mean as you do this you can kind of see hopefully that you know you're just trying to get a nice even flow especially when you're dealing with something that's going to be curved surfaces you want um, you want to try to get something that's um, flowing into itself fairly well. If that makes any sense. Now, as you can see, as I'm doing this, I'm just I'm looking at all angles, you know, just dollying around here and making sure that everything is looking uh, as it should, kind of flowing very nicely, or as nice as possible. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm okay with leaving that the way it is there, for now anyway. Back looks fairly okay, I think. Okay, so we got our beveled wheels and the, uh, the middle of the car kind of pushed in a little bit. So now I'm going to try to define the, um, the hood in the rear trunk area. But I see, let me go back in here, I need to move this a little bit. I want this to basically just be a curve down on mine. Something like that. Okay, as far as the um, the hood, I think I'm kind of in luck because if we look at this. That's basically the hood right there. If I did a P separate by selection, 
Hood's done. Control Z undo that. Okay, so the hood's in place. Let's see where our uh, our hatch is going to be. So I think probably the rear view. I choose faces. Kind of like right there. As far as um, you know, highway safety and all that stuff. Probably not good because you can't. If you're sitting here, you don't see very well out of it. But <laughs> this is the way I'm making mine. So really, the hood would be right here, and I'm okay with that as well. I think um, I think at least for now that area acting as the uh, not the hood, but the uh, the rear trunk area. I think that's fine. So there we are with our modifications. Um, I think it looks fine. The only thing is it looks like these bevels are sticking out too far, but I think once I put the subsurface in there, it'll take care of that. In any event, uh, not something that's hard to fix. So um, for right now, this is where we're at. I could add side view mirrors in at this point, but I think what I'll do for something like that is just make it, if I do make them, I'll just make it a, like a an accessory item and I'll do that as one of the last what well, last things I do in the modeling process so that's it for this part of the tutorial and the next part we're, we're going to be doing is continuing on with the modeling and start to get in some of, into some of the uh, more minute details so thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video